Hello everybody! Vaughn here, founder of Boru Mastery. Amazing to have you here. And wow! 6,000 fan celebration for the page. Thank you, wherever you are out there, for supporting, for liking, for sharing, for being part of the community. It's growing. And what I love is that we are connecting people all over the world through the beautiful art form of ballroom and Latin dancing. Now, I'd like to know, what are you working on at the moment? What are your challenges and what are your struggles? Every week, I like to bring a couple of these Facebook Lives, put on a lot of content on our YouTube channel as well. And we want to help you specifically become the best dancing version of yourself and, of course, become the best version of you that you can be. And today, I want to share three questions that you must ask yourself. These are really, really profound questions. They're extremely simple, but I found the act of asking questions determines the quality of your life. So if you have a problem, most of the time, well, a problem identified is already half solved, right? But if you ask a better quality question, you'll get a better quality answer. And I found most people just ask terrible questions about themselves and why things aren't working out. Like, why isn't my dancing any good? Because you're shit. Why don't the judges like me? Because you're no good, right? Like, wrong question. It's like, how can I get better, right? How can I be so good I can't be ignored, right? Those are more powerful questions. They're better quality. So I found that these three questions are really, really profound to help uh, execute on what you want in life. And guess what? Most people don't know what they want. So I'm going to ask you, do you actually know what you want? Like, why are you doing what you do? You know, do you have an answer for that? Is it written down? Do you, do you have a clear path that you're working on or working towards or cutting your own path, you know, trying to find your own way? You know, I don't believe that uh, we're here to live someone else's dream. I really believe that we're here to carve our own unique path to move the direction we want. You know, my life's an example of that. I didn't grow up thinking I'd become a ballroom dancer or have a studio or run a YouTube channel doing this. I, I really don't think you can plan so far ahead that you'll know exactly what that looks like in 20 or 30 years. And I think you have to have a vision for your life. I think you have to be really connected to your purpose and know your skills and your talents and your abilities and know how to direct those to a driven end. Um, and that one that sees other people benefit from you fulfilling and living your best self, right? I think that's the sort of world we want to develop more of. I just found dancing a unique vehicle to challenge myself to see if it's something I could actually do to go from nothing and actually make something with it. And I did, and it's something I like to do, and it's ever fulfilling. And I expand beyond that, though, and into sessions like this I do with my coaches, coaching clients one-on-one -on -one when, when I'm doing life coaching or seminar work around the world. And I found that most people don't ask the right quality questions for their life. So I'm going to challenge you on this because it's important to take a 30,000-foot view on your life sometimes. You know, when you're flying on a plane, you're looking down on the world, Below you, you're seeing everything. Little houses look like this big, right? Like tiny little things. Whereas when you're in it, it's huge, right? Like a building's massive. But when you're flying above it, the perspective shifts. And when your perspective shifts, so does your entire outlook on reality and the world. And so it's by doing uh, and, and this introspective work that you'll find the best answers. And you'll really find a lot more motivation. And sometimes you'll just totally change what you're doing altogether. So be warned, when you ask questions, you're going to get answers, okay? Be prepared to act on those answers because you may not like them and you might want to bury them deeper and deeper and deeper and never come back to them. So the question is, particularly, look, the way you're training at the moment, the way you're doing your dancing, the way you're moving forward, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, seriously, think about it. What are you actually doing? Like, most people are unconscious. They, they, you get into a habit, you get into a routine, you get into a ritual, so you know turning up... Let's say you do your first dance class. You're not in a habit or a ritual yet, right? You do your first class, then you do your second class, you do your third class. Oh, man, the pattern's setting. What happens? You get used to the day and time you turn up to class. And here's what I watch. I watch people when they come into the studio. Do they come early? Do they come late? Do they practice before? Do they practice after? And each week, I can almost guarantee I could put $100 on each person's habit after two or three weeks, you know exactly how they're going to turn up the next time, right? In three or four weeks from now, they'll turn up five minutes before class, they'll sit in almost the same chair, right? They'll sit in the same place. 
Why? It's because how we do things. We're creatures of habit. The problem is when that isn't serving where we want to go. Well, what we don't look at is the habit. Like, we don't try and change that. We try and change, like, other shit that doesn't matter. It's like, no, you've got to go into what are you doing? Like, seriously, think about it, break it apart, and go, is it working? Right? That's the second question. What are you doing? Is it actually working? Because often you'll find out, it's like, you know what? I am training the same way every time, and it's not working out. Well, that would be the definition of insanity, right? Well, no, it would be also the definition of stupidity, really. So we know we have to change what we're doing. Then we have to ask ourselves, is it working? Because you can do things and it not work properly. And you can think, well, maybe in five years it'll work out. It's like, well, not always, right? Remember a video I did earlier, time doesn't equal proficiency. Doesn't mean you'll be better, right? So keep that in mind. So we want to know, what are you doing? Is it working, right? What do you think? Let me know below. Are those questions in mind? And then the next thing, what isn't working? That's important. What are you doing? Literally, your activities. How are you showing up? Are you engaged? Are you there? Are you present? Are you open? Are you receptive? Right? What's working? Okay, I'm on time. I've got energy. I'm like powering through. I'm improving. What isn't working? I'm tired. Like, I'm exhausted. Right? I hate my relationships. All of that affects how you show up in the studio. And it's by asking those questions on a weekly basis, you'll actually start to reformulate how you do things like inch by inch. And by doing that, you change your outcome, right? You change your results. It doesn't take a lot to shift your entire life, right? Think about it. A ship that departs from a port to a, a, let's say it's going from Sydney to Canada. Even though it might have a coordinating mechanism like a GPS to guide it, on tra if it veers off course by one degree over a couple of thousand miles, it's way off target. That's a metaphor for your own life, right? If you shift how you do things just a little bit, it absolutely changes the trajectory of your life. It's really hard to understand that, but I guess that's what faith is. But that's the same with your dancing. It's like you've got no idea. The smallest shift in the way that you move your body, the smallest shift in your footwork, when you start to get that as a habit, it changes everything, right? And then the next thing can add on top. But it doesn't happen by accident. It happens by introspective work. You have to ask these questions. What are you doing? What's working? And what isn't? And when you start to drill that as part of the, your fabric, you'll realize, you know what? Hey, partner, you're not working right now for me. Like, we've got to change tactic. You know, don't, don't go and fire your partnership right now. Don't fire your coach right now, you know? Um, but like, look at what you're doing and like literally be serious about it and go, okay, there's probably a better way. Like I'm not where I could be, so something needs to change within me, right? If you take that responsibility, the world is yours. If you can't take that responsibility, unfortunately, no coaching, no amount of lessons and nothing else is really gonna work. You have to take that responsibility. So start with those three questions. What are they? What are you doing? What's working and what isn't? They're very simple, but they're very profound. And remember, a question without an answer is a statement. So all questions have answers. So ask the question and you'll get the answer. And then it's up to you to execute on it. And that's what these videos are for, that to help keep you motivated, to help keep you inspired, to get you educated about yourself so you can move forward and live out your dance dreams. This is Vaughn. I want to thank you. By the way, before you go, check out ballroommastery.com and .tv. We've got some exciting stuff coming up for you. It's been a little bit of a lag in the lead up for this, but we're trying to get it right before we release it. But I would love to work with you one-on-one -on -one, every month in a private exclusive membership area. We're going to give all sorts of technique training, mindset performance training, body training, all sorts of cool stuff that you're going to do with me each week. Um, if you uh, want to be part of that, let me know by writing boom or leaving a comment below. We'll come back and meet you later on this. But Helen, thank you for coming in. Wonderful to have you here. And uh, everyone else out there in Bora Mastery World, thank you for your support. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video where we can master the art of ballroom dancing together.